What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Crazy Dallas, back with another video. Today, we have some really exciting news today. Today, so I made a video about... Maybe about four... Four... Three... Almost four months ago. About, you know, how there's the Winter Circle diecasts are returning... Well, let's just say that there is more Winter Circle die-cast cars being produced. One of them being, not a surprising one, but a very, very interesting and actually kind of cool one for all you Joey Logano fans. So if you're a Joey Logano fan, which obviously I'm not, but this die-cast is really cool, gotta be honest, though. Um... I do want to give you guys a quick update. Um, Denny Hamlin is now my my most hated slash least favorite driver. Denny Hamlin has became my most hated driver. Joey Logano has moved up. Um, and I'm just going to go this through this really quickly. Joey Logano, I still don't like him that much. But, you know, he's... he's He's doing better. We'll say that. I'm starting to get like more into him now. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to say that. Get that out of my mind and head. Um, don't even want to talk about that Pocono race. Because that was just rigged. The race itself was fun. But God. It's just terrible racing by Denny Hamlin and whatnot. So anyways you guys. This came as a short notice. This. Um, shout out to NASCAR, dude. He just posted this video literally like two minutes ago. Or an hour ago. Still. Um. So yeah, there's a couple of more Winter Circle diecasts. As you guys know, I made a first video. This is basically like a part two video. The first video, we had the Kyle Larson, Austin Sindrick. Um, they tore a fire when the, the Kyle Larson, um... You know, Las Vegas win. And then for 2022. And then the Austin Center Daytona win for 2022 as well. Daytona Fire and win. Now in this video, we have some more really interesting die casts. Um, shout out to once again NASCAR Dude for uploading this video. Very short notice, like I said. And also shout out to Spoiler, spoiler Die Cast. Where I get actually most of my die casts from when I'm off eBay or Amazon. Otherwise, I, I collect, you know, the stickers. And if most of the time, I just get them off Florida Racing. But if I get any die casts off Amazon or eBay, or eBay, besides the stickers that I get off eBay, you know, that I start to collect, it's spoiler die cast that I most likely will have. So shout out to them for sure, too. I actually have a sticker on my wall from them. It's actually kind of cool. Not going to lie. Let's get into it. Make sure I subscribe. Part 2. This is basically Wave 2. Here we go, folks. I'm really excited, actually. Very excited. Ooh, man. Take a look at this one. This one's actually kind of cool, not going to lie, you guys. This one itself is really cool. This is Joey Logano's 2022. I think this is um, the Phoenix win. Like, for the first race, you know. Not for 2022. Um, but these are 2022 die casts. The Winter Circle ones. These are 2022s. Just so you guys know. Um, which is kind of weird for 2023. But yeah, as you guys know. Chase Briscoe did win Phoenix, Phoenix for 2022. But I meant like this could be like the championship one. But I don't think it is. I think. I actually don't know where he won this at. But here's a Joy Logano one. And as you guys can see here, by the looks of it, by the looks of it, Target is getting these. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. This is actually the most excited I have ever been. In a while, considering Wave 4 
got leaked. This is probably, I'm probably just as excited as when Wave 11 and Wave 12 got leaked for 2021. I'm probably just excited as this, you guys. Oh my god. I'm even more excited about this than going to the Lona Racing Store and flying to North Carolina. This is actually very, very exciting. Because as you guys know, we already have the NASCAR Thanks Waves. Lona Racing slash Winter Circle decided to take advantage, take, you know, NASCAR Authentics to the next level and create their own waves for winner circles, aka win, you know, race win diecasts at Target. And it sounds like, um, because I looked at you know NASCAR dude's comment, he said this could happen to Walmart as well. It's happening at Target. It's probably gonna happen at Walmart, Kroger, Meyer, wherever you get your NASCAR diecasts at. Most likely Walmart and Target. But yes, Kroger and Meyer also have NASCAR diecasts. Oh my god, dude, this is so exciting. Now I know, I know you guys might be thinking right right now. There's nothing really to be excited about right now. There's only one diecast got leaked. I know. I know everybody right now is thinking to their heads that they're not they don't like Joy Legano. This video is a waste of my time. Now hold up. Now, hmm, how do I want to put this? I guess how I want to put it is, so, obviously, we all know Kyle Larson, Austin Center, Joey Logano, all three of those, um, you know, diecasts, they're winners, winner circle diecasts, and luckily, they are, they are on the EL mode. All of these Winter Circle diecasts, by the sound of it, are on the EL mode. Because everybody knows, Lone Racing, even even if even if even if Lone Racing does these cars on the PTC mold, which they didn't, thank God, nobody would buy them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Lone Racing, and now I understand. Now I now we all know why Lionel Racing. Has been doing such a terrible job with these um, factories and why they haven't been producing, you know, winners, you know, race versions um, for the NASCAR Authentics, you know, line. It's because Winter Circle has has the return. We know this for about five, four months now, but we're getting new updates. And it sounds like. Every single target is going to have the 164 scale race win die casts. Now, these are going for $8. I do understand why they're a little bit more expensive. You do get a card and a cool, like, you know, like thing or whatever, thingamajig or whatever. You get, like, a cool base and a card. And they're obviously race win die casts. Me, I am super excited for this because, as you guys know, I. When I hunt down, you know, these NASCAR diecasts, I click two of them. Um, if I start seeing these at Target, I am going obviously going to collect two of them as well. Um a couple of them I might only I might only just collect one of each if I already have it on the gold series, you know. But otherwise that this is so exciting news, you guys. Cause this this is coming out of Target. We already know that for the past probably couple of minutes I've been talking about it. But this could happen to Walmart, like I said. And the truth about this is, yeah, we're not going to get a lot of these um, Winter Circle diecasts anytime soon. I don't think they're going to come anytime soon. After all, Lona Racing did say four months ago when they leaked these, um... They are not going to produce a lot of these um, because these are brand new, you know. And everybody's going to be starting looking for these right when I say this video. And I know I'm recording this at... eleven thirty-five, But like I said, though, you guys, this is super exciting news. Just brand new news. Could happen to Walmart. Could may maybe not.
but these are coming to targets. So be on the lookout for these pegs. Now, there is a 90% chance when you find the aisle of the NASCARs, if you see these pegs, this peg right here, the NASCAR 164 raised one diecast for $7.99, aka $8. Most likely, 90%, 85% of a chance, you will not, I repeat, you will not find these. That is because, one, everybody is going to be looking for them. Two, Lona Racing is not going to post them out anytime soon because they have to get through Wave 5 sale and the upcoming Wave for 2023. Number three is that all stores right now are all packed up on their stuff, so they're probably not going to be getting into the actual store. They're probably going to be in the back for the next couple months. So be on the lookout. Just be on the lookout just in case, because I know a couple stores, a couple of my subscribers have found um, Wave 2 and Wave 3 already, and they just got leaked like almost a month ago. Wave 3, not even a month ago. Um, so, yeah, just be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, that is it. I know it wasn't anything, um, anything too big. I mean, it was very, it's really cool to see this. It's something special, but it's not much. And sometimes the not much stuff is the most specialist things. So, yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end this video to look at the comments and kind of see if we're going to get these at Walmart. Um, I feel like there's a 80% chance we will be. After all, Target did say that they were going to stop collecting NASCAR diecasts after 2023. It doesn't look like Target is going to stop collecting these NASCAR diecasts, especially if they are the ones getting these Winter Circle diecasts. And who knows, Lionel Racing might make the 124 scale winner circle die cast. Or either that or Lionel Racing is just going to repeatedly do just their own winner, you know, their own race version die cast instead of winner circle. But you never know. And by the way, guys, I don't know if I told you guys this yet or not. But Winter Circle and Lionel Racing are actually teaming up on these cars. Lionel Racing is. Obviously, we all know that Lona Racing is the factory that makes the die cast. But Winter Circle is the ones that actually make the packaging on this one. So, basically, the Winter Circle and Lona Racing are teaming up on these die casts. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, short notice, huge update. I know, only one car, but we will see what will happen. I'm pretty sure OBB, the die cast news guy, Brian Griffin, family guy fan diecast buffet and more will be posting this out probably either late tonight or tomorrow morning once again this is crazy dallas signing out thank you guys for watching bye bye